Morning, Sarah here. I'm at Colorland by Benjamin Moore where Peter, the owner, is offering 20% off to our clients for using the keywords Team Logue. The best thing to come to this store for is Peter. He has great expert advice on how colors work with flooring, cabinetry, and lighting. Hello, I'm Peter Ramondi from Colorland Paint and Decor, a family-owned business for 18 years. Good morning, Sarah here with our morning Starbucks. I'm joined with Peter at Colorland. Thank you for having us in. Oh, you're welcome, sir. I really appreciate it. We get a ton of questions every time Benjamin Moore launches the color of the year. Yes. All our clients call us and say, Sarah, should we paint the whole house the color of the year? And I really, really think that it's a, a true specialty that we have you guys so entrenched in our community that people can come in and get the expertise advice that you offer. I know our clients love coming in and learning what the best color is that's going to match for their hard skates from their home and you do a great job in coaching people on that front. So we know the color of the year is Metropolitan. Metropolitan. Very cool color. It's challenge is, as you said to me, is it's a gray. <laughs> it is a gray. And in these days, there are grays that have very predominant undertones, right. and then there are neutral grays. Right. Uh, I think what people are looking for these days are grays that end up looking neutral with their fixed elements. Right. And the worst thing you can do is just put the color year on the wall without even checking it with your fixed elements, because you'll be surprised that at the end of the day, especially if you have a lot of natural sunlight, it ends up looking a little bluey or greeny. Which we see blue a lot coming out or too cool. Um, and when you say fixed elements, you mean hardwoods, Hardwood, cabinetry. kitchen cabinets, backsplashes, items that when you sell a house, mm -hmm. they're not going to leave the house. Right. So if a client's trying to get a neutral color or trying to switch to that gray, what would you recommend they do? First step would be to come into a local store like mine mm -hmm. with some pictures, but better yet would be with a piece of the actual flooring okay. or a cabinet door, something that shows us the true undertones and whatever the fixed elements are. Pictures don't really do justice because mm -hmm. colors don't get transpired in true life with the pictures. You sound like a color expert. Mm. Okay, so you have a, a sample here of the color of the year and then you have a number of grays that you recommend to clients. Mm -hmm. I can see what you're trying to do here. Can you just give us a rundown when you talk about those cools against the hardwood versus the color of the year versus maybe a warmer gray? Because grays are a challenge. They are. Uh, here at Colorland, five year goals, I had developed a color system of 800 colors or custom colors wow. called the Gray Moldy Color Collection. Holy Why I did that is just because even with Benjamin Moore's slew of 3,000 colors, they didn't have the grays that people were looking for. Okay. So uh, I used my formulation techniques to yes. create some neutral grays that work very well with today's fixed elements Perfect. and flooring uh, and group them into color categories. In the past, everyone was doing beiges. That's right. when everyone had traditional woods on all their trim right. and, and railings. Uh, but now the trends are everything's going more gray. Gotcha. So you got your neutral grays, your warm grays, your grayges, which color. are yeah, yeah. a combination of beige and gray, uh, and beige, which is really uh, not so popular anymore. Nice. Um, when it comes to picking which color category to get into, it's very dependent on your fixed elements. If your flooring is very dark and subdued, then you can get away with the warm grays and neutral grays. Perfect. But if you do have a very warm tone floor, right. that's when the grayages are very popular because you don't want to have an overwhelmingly amount of gray in your paint mm -hmm. where it's going to end up illusionally looking blue. Very true. So if you're thinking the color of the year before mm -hmm. you paint this color, your recommendation, bring in some floors, bring in some cabinetries, let's match up some of your gray collection and see what works best. We know the overall return on investment can be as high as 100% on paint. Mm -hmm. So get some good coaching before you paint your new gray. Thank you so much, Peter. I really Thank you, appreciate Sarah. it. It's great.